Hello and welcome to another exciting video. We are jumping right into it. Going to do some career mode here. Um, these are all the different uh, team brands. Uh, we can even do a couple custom. Basically all you do is add your name. <laughs> um, I think I ended up going with the checkered flags. Um, team name is uh, Schloff Motorsports. Because um, my last name. Uh, but if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get all future videos. Um, and make sure you click the right um, part of the uh, um, <coughs> notification bell um, where you actually get my videos. Because if, if you don't click on the right one, it won't give you or it won't send you any notifications really. Uh, so make sure you do that. Helps me out a lot. Um, as you can see, I just kind of fast forwarded through a lot of this stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get you guys a feel for it, um, take a look and see all the different things that, uh, you can do to customize and whatnot. Um, even this part I fast forwarded. Just so that the other, if I did fast forward, this video would be over 30 minutes long. And I don't think you guys want that long of a first video. <laughs> um, they gave us 10 grand. Basically puts us at zero to start. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the street stock here because... Well, I'm a little more comfortable in a street stock than a sprint car. Um, but yeah. Jumping right into it, as you can see. Already hopping into a, another screen here to uh, edit the car. Yeah, 45X is not my number. <laughs> You'll see here in a minute, I completely change it. Uh, but we're going to go through, take a look at some of the paint schemes. First one's pretty basic. That's one I went with. Oh, not quite sure if I can change the hood part of it. Um, maybe I'll check that out in a future video. I didn't see if I could change the paint design on that. But it looks pretty alright otherwise, so. Gotta have that gold. Oh yeah, I did change the hood. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> Even though I just finished recording this like an hour ago. Um, gotta go with those copper wheels. They kind of look a little weird um, in this part of the game. But like an actual in the actual game, it, it looks a lot better. Um, I just like copper anyway. This was some weird stuff I was not sure so but I did figure out how to delete it um, as you can see just going through stuff checking out all the different sides here Uh, you can't see it, but uh, I was changing the number <laughs> as it popped up there. I was like, "Whoa, I can do what I used, what I've done in like the SRX game and uh, the two Tony Stewart games." Um, but yeah, I mean, 
same basic developers. So it's like, oh, I I can kind of <laughs> do what I was doing before. All right. I love how that number looks. Um, if I build a dirt car again and go racing, um, I'd probably do something very similar to that. Although it would probably have flames on it or something <laughs> instead of kind of that kind of retro 70s. <laughs> Uh, in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s kind of paint scheme. It's almost A team, A team like. <laughs> if it were uh, silver and yellow instead of uh, the gold. For the accents, me just pushing everyone around, just trying to get a feel for this car. This thing was extremely loose. Um, then again, no upgrades on the car yet because, well, they only gave us ten grand, and one hundred percent of that went to just buying a new car. So uh, we'll definitely upgrade that here, which you'll see later in the video. And boom! Right over a tire because. I don't know how to drive apparently so fully airborne and the tire didn't even move but whatever just trying to get a feel for the car You guys are having a good week. It's a lot slower week than uh, I've had with the uploading of the videos, but now that I'm back into a a flow a little bit, it was nice to be able to record all of my videos at once. <laughs> um, as I did the voice, um, I did live voiceover as opposed to me. Uh, recording the audio over later like I'm doing right now uh, yeah just run a couple laps just to kind of shake the car down shake <laughs> you know get a feel for it you know the usual kind of race car driver stuff um, I feel like I'd be a little bit better with the car and a wheel and pedal setup. Um, I know I say this in these racing videos all the time, but <laughs> I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Um, but yeah. Uh, I should be yawning, but I am. I got some sleep last night. Did record a video for the other, the new channel as well, uh, Bruising Motorsports. That is out as you are watching this video, episode three already. So it's been <laughs> three weeks of doing stuff. Uh, I know it's out a day early. Um. I recorded it yesterday just because, well, <laughs> I uh, didn't know if I might start a new job today. Um, I still might. I haven't gotten a phone call yet, but uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> I can uh, have some income again. Yay! And pay my own bills instead of my uh, sugar mama. I mean my uh my gorgeous wonderful wife um taking care of me i guess it's her turn 
Um, it's usually the other way around, but... Yeah. <laughs> at least we're living at home with my parents, so there's that. These two cars and their paint scheme... Paint schemes give me kind of those. If, if it said 45 on the side, <laughs> that would uh, give me major uh, um, Adam Petty vibes. Um, rest in peace, gone way, way, way too soon. Um, but yeah. is kind of crazy to think about what could have been um, but yeah that that gives me vibes to his old like Arca spree car spree sponsored car um, I actually have uh, a little die cast model that I have that just it just sits there um, that's one of the ones I will probably never sell. Um, just because, well, it's Adam Petty and you will never, ever, ever see that merchandise again. So, it's a keeper no matter what. It's a little banged up because I actually did used to play with it as a kid. Um... Yeah, that was one of the ones I kind of saved before it got too, too bad. Yeah, we're in the race now. As I'm um, riffing on random stuff. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Beating and banging in here. Trying to f fight for a top 10. Let's see if uh, we can at least keep this. See, I could get in the corner just fine. Just center off. The car is just extremely loose and uh, tight. But we still got that top 10. First race, first top 10. Uh, Kokomo with absolutely nothing done to the car. Um, I think that's respectable. Um, for a... Just a, a basic, like most people are going to play with this with a controller. Um, wasn't even really distracted either today as uh, while playing this wife and kiddo went out for a drive and get some fresh air. But uh, yeah. So this is um, the parts and repairs, a little different from the other games. Um, it's definitely interesting. Uh, once I kind of went through it and figured it out a little bit, um, apparently for the best, best parts, there's... Um, they're locked until you unlock that. And to unlock that, to become a, a regional and then a, a national driver, it's based on um, fans you have. It's like 7,500 to be a, a regional driver and like 50,000 to become a, a national driver. And uh, apparently you can hired people to race for you um, once you upgrade to those regional and national levels 
Uh, to race some of the the local stuff. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna max out the all the uh, tier one stuff. I just wanted to check out. Um, I'm glad they do showcases still. Uh, only ra nine races for local. Um, that's fine. Uh, we'll probably run a couple seasons with just that. Until I get the car figured out and maximized and we start winning every race. Uh, so hopefully that'll be soon. <laughs> This is the next race. Um, as you can see, did make it in again. Second A main. We're just going to uh, try and attack right away. I actually got a decent drive off the corner that time. Then I uh, Scandinavian inflicted into the corner. <laughs> and somehow it stuck, so I went with it. on the bottom searching for some grip uh, a lot of cars seem to be working pr pretty alright on the top especially near the end of this race here but three wide there and uh, off this corner four wide on the stretch but We were working on it. Fighting for a top five. Or maybe this was for like fifth or sixth, maybe. I don't recall. But, uh. <coughs> not bad. Picked up some spots, so. Doing it. Uh, seventh. There we go. Who's seventh? <laughs> but we're gonna go to Fairberry here. Um, after we do a little upgrade, because we gotta gotta be as upgraded as possible for the showcase. Um, so I definitely made sure we were as far upgraded with tires as I could. Um, level two with the uh, the tier three upgrade. And, uh, yeah, I forgot to do that part, but realized I ran out of money to upgrade anything else. So at least tires are upgraded. Uh, we'll just gonna keep upgrading <coughs> until, uh, can't upgrade anymore. Or until I start kicking everyone's ass without having a fully upgraded car. <laughs> but green, green, green. Yeah, we, I actually did um, make the uh, qualifying race. Um, had worked my way up to like fourth or fifth, hit a tire barrier, and uh fell to a uh, second to last so uh finished 11th out of 12 for, for the qualifying race um I finished second in the heat which is how I made that race uh tried to go for the lead uh started on the front row the outside front row just uh couldn't get there as I smack it tire barrier again ran with damage the rest of this race here but uh, at, le at least we have some good tires so we have some good drive off now because tires are important people um, no matter what form of racing if you can upgrade to the best tire available 
do that. <laughs> you go tires, brakes, suspension, um, and then you can, as you upgrade bodywork, upgrade a uh, arrow and all that stuff. Uh, no matter what kind of car you're building, because if your car can't stop <laughs> and uh, keep good traction, then the power upgrades are going to be useless. Just saying. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to hold off in this race to finish fourth. Kind of drove like an asshole there in the last two corners. But, yeah, fourth place finish is pretty cool still. And, uh, yeah, we have a local sponsor with extra value. Um, and we're definitely clicking on that in a minute. Or a second here, whatever. <laughs> As we go through their sponsor incentives, which is cool. Um, we're just going to go with the, the, the normal incentive because I'm too chicken shit to do the top five. Uh, car's not upgraded enough for that. And, uh, I guess I don't have that much <laughs> skill with a controller. So, uh, we're going to do a little upgrade here and, uh, Go to that tier three, so we have the durability and performance, and uh, I think that's all we can do. Uh, so, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.